we're gonna go through the entire buffet. It's gonna have a little crimped in there with it. Let's go. Hey guys, so today I'm here in Little Saigon in Houston, Texas with the one and only Luat Ha. He is awesome and I'm so happy he's here today with me. We're gonna share with you his culture, his journey, his family emigrated from Vietnam in 1977. 45 years to the day? 45 years. Wow. And he's gonna share with us this cuisine. When I when I reached out to him, we talked about places to go and, and show Vietnamese food. And he said, we have to do Kim San Buffet. It's only right. Yeah, I selected Kim San because they have a history of a story similar to mine coming to America and with nothing and building it up and here we are we've had family dinners at different Kim Sun restaurants but this one is a well-known location where you get a variety of everything but you get to taste what Mama La has prepared for us here so I'm excited to go in and have some good food all right let's go go through the entire buffet here with the expert Luat. He's going to explain to us what you would want to get when you come in to enjoy Kim Sun Buffet. So Kim Sun offers different types of food from the north, the central, and the south. So I want to start us off with the central, and it's also known as appetizer as well, to, to show you what I grew up eating in Vietnam and even my mom making it here in America. So this is the squid salad, goi muk. Everybody knows this, this is kind of our version of the salad, also appetizer. Chicken feet, not a lot of people, you know, like to eat that, but there are people that love it. These are the foods that come from central Vietnam. The spring roll, it's well known, but if you look on the ban bell, this is the one that I really grew up. My kids love it now, and my mom and my grandmother used to make it. Most of our food, from Central is made from rice flour. So if you look at this other one, ban it jung, which is a sticky rice dumpling, has meat inside. Some people have shrimp and pork, you know, a couple of different things on there. Ban duk, steamed coconut rice cake. Same thing, it comes from a rice flour that they make and you eat it uh, with fish sauce. And then over here, they have the section that's from Saigon, which is toward the south, where they have different type. This is more of a, like a curry. But the street food, if you think about Saigon, you know, everybody out in the street, they have little stands on the side of the road and they're cooking food and usually it's on charcoal on there and you can just sit down with a little stool and just eat it. There's the nam nung, um, the pork, the, the grilled shrimp that's always there. And then um, of course the escargot. I know not a lot of people like the, the escargot, the snails, but we love it. You throw it on the grill, you see the fire cooking it up. It gives it that, that toasted flavor. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering looking at it. That seaweed wrapped in... Different type of leaf. It's not seaweed. I think it's almost like grape leaves. Lalo. I believe it's grape leaves that they wrap it in and they cook it, they grill it. Yeah. Over here, you see, we have the standard, you know, everyday appetizers. You got chicken wings. Kim Sung has even named their own KFC uh, Kim Sung fried chicken. Over here, you have some fried fish which we eat that as appetizer, a little fried shrimp, the normal egg roll and fried wontons, and little shrimp balls. My kids love this section right here. I mean, they probably don't make it to the other section, but there's plenty more food over here. Just a, for the vegetarians, you know, they have the snow peas over here, the green beans and mushrooms, and the kailang, which is the Chinese broccoli version, mixed in with the American broccoli and beet over here. This is also a popular dish for us. It's the steamed fish. Now you get the curry balls, not as common for me, but the, the squid, the steamed, well, tossed up stir fry squid is a favorite among us. Steamed mussels with, I think the, with a little curry in there. It's a big favorite. Jumbo shrimp with mushroom. But I tell you what, every Vietnamese love eating this uh, i know we we saw the grilled uh, snails or escargots earlier this is a steam one so you eat it with the uh, ginger fish sauce 
delicacy, like another drinking food. <laughs> and then the steamed clams here as well. You know, I shared with y'all earlier, you know, Vietnamese food from North, Central, and South. But, you know, I forgot to tell you that with a major influence here, we got crawfish from Texas, right? It's a big deal. I mean, uh, I think the Vietnamese have really taken crawfish to a different level with the garlic butter, you know, a little bit away from the original Cajun sauce, spice. Great stuff here. Over here, we have a selection of different variety, but one thing that's standing out to me is this right here. It's Rook Heo Kyung Yong. It's actually pig intestines and it's fried, deep fried there, and it's eaten with a little sweet sauce. So it's also a drinking food. <laughs> among the Vietnamese people. This is a popular dish for everybody. I think popular with the Vietnamese and Chinese, the stir fry noodle, uh, easy to eat. You know, all my kids love this as well. And the seafood mac and cheese is something that probably came from a, a mix Mixer, of a yeah. mix of American and Asian food, because I've never seen that. And the other common one is the chicken, roasted chicken, right? The sticky rice is, is a good dish to go with the chicken. Oh, we'll have to try it's kind of like a coconutty flavor, the sticky rice, with the the chicken is sweet and, and, and salty at the same time. And of course, our trusty shrimp fried rice, right? Can't Everybody loves that. Can't go wrong, yeah, definitely. So the other thing, bun kok, is the one in the corner. So that's a, also a central Vietnamese food, along with the bun sel. So this is common in the streets too. All right, you know, every buffet has a dessert section and we got a variety here, a mix of American, but really the Vietnamese ones that are popular. But they do have some teas, some different option teas here that do come with the buffet. And these are the buffets that are pretty well known uh, with the Vietnamese community. It's like a tapioca ball with a, a sweet filling. I believe it's like a mung bean lotus flour that's that's on the inside and this is chè đậu trắng is popular too that's is i believe it's a tapioca with little pinto beans in there it's cooked and and you add a little coconut to it it is the bomb chè khoai mông is also popular chè khoai mông it's a taro um, in there it's, so it's sweet with a little sauce around it too this is one that's also popular chè xin sa hộp lưu it's little beans in there with jelly and then similar to the other one is Jai Bama, which is three colors. You can see it comes in three colors and you add ice to it and they'll add coconut to it. Up here is Jai Dao Dao, which is the red bean dessert. And Sing Sao Lu, that's Ho E. I, I don't know what the translation Vietnamese, but it looks like little eggs in there, but I promise you it is good, sweet, add a little ice to it. And they do have snow cones for the kids that don't eat this sweet stuff. So it's another dish from central Vietnam. This dish, it's like a flour with a little egg and it's cooked on a pan. They flip it over on the inside. It has shrimp. Some people put squid and then pork in there. Some people just take lettuce and wrap it up and dip it in the fish sauce. So I like to eat with my chopsticks. They have little crumbs in there with it. It's delicious. I love the crunchiness of it. You can tell, see the bean sprouts are in there. It has a little coconutty flavor taste to it too. What I am about to show you here is ban bo chien, which is a rice cake. It has, you can see here, an egg, and there's actually rice flour kind of doughed up like a cake almost. You eat it with a plum soy sauce. It's got a nice kick to it, and then you can put chili on it. I like to put a little sriracha. As you can see, let me hold it up for you. So we'll dip this into the plum soy sauce. Get a nice little bite. Oh, it's so good. A turnip in there, it gives it a nice crunch. Shallots. Green onion, see that? That's a rice cake right there. There you go, that's a nice shot. You can see the inside. It's just rice flour, fried. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna take another bite. Solid thumbs up from me. You have to get this one. pretty quick to have everything ready to go and he adds the little condiments and everything okay come on little chili oil 
but everything is good like that. Mi Quang, this is a dish I grew up eating all the way back to when I was in Vietnam. So a little story behind this. My grandma used to have a little stand where she lived in the parking lot. So out by the main street, she would make big pot every day and sell it to people going by. So my grandmother was known for this and then she taught it to my mom. My mom still makes it to this day. The This is only from central Vietnam. So what's special about it is it's a totally different dish from what we normally eat. But this is kind of like the pho noodle. It's dyed, it has to be dyed a yellow color with food coloring so before you make it. It doesn't give it any different flavor, just the coloring of it. But in here you'll have shrimp, little shrimp balls, little pork, and it's a light broth. So different parts of the region and it has Vietnamese ham. Some people put different things on there. It has peanuts, little greens here. This is the other different thing that it comes with is it's a crunchy rice paper. They fry it up. I think my mom's done this with just throwing it in the microwave and it puffs up like this. And that's the American way now. Kim Sung makes it pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the same as my grandmother, but it gives her a little run for her money. <laughs> this tastes better now. I mean. This definitely does give my mom and my grandmother <laughs> Mi Quang a run for their money. I recommend if you come here and eat Kim Sun Buffet, you gotta try this. And it's number seven, it's right? It's number seven. Number on seven the, on the on the board with the noodles. So different types of meat. My next dish, you know, it's a drinking food, but I'm drinking iced tea. Okay? <laughs> it's a snail. So it's steamed. It doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. They're pretty good size. You see how big they are. But you dip it inside. The, the ginger fish sauce. This is what makes it tasty and delicious. The meat is a little bit chewy, but it just, I don't know how to describe it, but it's its good. You gotta try I'll one. I'll try one. one. The sauce one. is a little bit sweet. So Sean's you just going for the big one. it in one. there. The opposite, this way? yeah. And then you pull, pull it out. This one's a big. Yeah, didn't want to come out. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Is that it? All right. Guess don't the eat sauces. the shell, okay? Don't eat the shell. I got it all. A little in. Is that, that part? Yeah. Let's go. It's almost got like a calamari octopus yeah. texture. Yeah, there you go. And that sauce is like amazing though. Wow. I will eat more of those for Yeah, that's sure. why they give you a whole bowl. Of Well, thanks so much for joining and showing us about Vietnamese culture and your story. I learned a lot, ate a lot. I have my belly sticking out here. We'll have to do this again. Oh, definitely. Hey, I enjoyed it too. And you know, I enjoyed our conversation and I enjoyed sharing these food and the history behind it with you. So I want to thank everyone for watching and joining us and we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.